And speaking of childhood experiences, you know, I can remember back in the day when I was a kid, I would sit on the porch and wait for Mr. Softy to come around the corner. The ice cream was great and it was always fresh. And you know what? Our next story is even fresher. One scoop or two, fudge, maybe some whipped cream, and tons of flavors to choose from. However you take your ice cream, it's more than just a treat. For some, it's comforting. For others, it's a reason to go out. But for one family, it's a way of life. At the creamery, we make ice cream. I mean, that's essentially what it is. We, we take the milk from the farm and we turn it into, hopefully, a, a very high-quality premium ice cream product that we sell um, primarily out of the dipping cabinets here. Um, in scoops or waffle cones or any of that kind of thing, or we do take home products also, quartz, ice cream cakes, pies, that, that sort of thing. The Belleville Creamery has been in business for the past four years, and it's been a huge hit. Making the ice cream right on site, Tim works to make sure that his customers are always getting the freshest ice cream possible. From the time I make it to throw it in the freezer, get it hard, and then it runs, you know, whatever's in the dimming cabinet gets sold, and then we bring that out. I mean, very rarely is it sit in the freezer for more than a week. I mean, so for ice cream, storage time, unless it's, you know, like minus 100 degrees, um, is, the, is a killer. Because uh, what happens is the ice crystals, they melt, even at, even at zero degrees, they melt and they refreeze, they melt and they refreeze. And being able to sell it and selling it as quickly as possible here, you know, by doing small batches and it, it's not sitting around long, so those ice crystals stay small and it's very creamy all the time. And that's, you know, part of the key, I mean, is to, is to sell it, you know, and not make, you know, a year's supply of vanilla and then let it sit in there for four months or five months. I mean, you, you make it as you need it and you sell it and it stays, you know, keeps that high, high quality, nice and creamy. While ice cream gets made at the Belleville Creamery, there is something else you should know. Just down the road lies the Belleville Farm owned and operated by the same family. Tim's father-in-law, Al Buckby, follows a lineage rooted deep in Warwick that has owned and operated the farm since 1819. Keeping a farm profitable these days can be difficult, unless, of course, you get creative. A continuing process that you have to be willing to change. You have to have an open mind all the time to new ideas, new products, new services, and new businesses. Your challenge is you know, how, how do you make continue a dairy farm that was very profitable 100 years ago at 50 cows and continue the profit, so you have to attack it differently. And, and our way of doing it was look to the public as not a problem for us, but a, a, a very good solution. We were fortunate to be able to buy the land where the creamery is on top of Mount Peter, and we moved our vegetable business up there. And Tim does a marvelous job of making a high, high-end, high-quality ice cream that appears to be each year we've been growing the business is being well received and um, so we're very pleased that the public has accepted it and, and comes and the business continues to grow so we're very happy with that. It's hard I mean to make a profit you know just wholesaling a product so we were trying to get into the retail business you know, to make it profitable for the whole family and uh, we settled on ice cream as a way to kind of get started in the retail business you know it seemed like a nice, nice thing to do I mean everybody's always happy buying ice cream I mean, you don't get too many grumpy people up buying ice cream. And so, as the milk goes out to get pasteurized and is bought back to produce the tasty snack you love so much, the Buckby family has found a way to keep their farm profitable and their growth inevitable. The different businesses that we've started here allow everyone to be part of the other business. Where I spend most of my time here, my brother-in-law can also help out here and I can also help him up there. My sister can do all the same. And it kind of allows different people here at some, some different stages. You're just a worker, other parts you're a manager, and then um, you also spend part of your day being a leader. I get up every day and um, feel how fortunate we are that, that we're able to be here as a family, function as a family, and have a successful business. Um, I can't think of anything more that I'd enjoy doing than um, the success of hands-on, day-to-day operation of, um, of really our family as well as with Mother Nature of crops and animals and all that goes with nature. Uh, how fortunate I've been 
through the years to be able to be in the middle of all that.